Making these little planter pouches is really quick and easy. I like to use clear acetate paper and I just run it through my sewing machine and add a few other quick embellishments to create a very cute little storage system for my clear stamps, for markers, for other stickers that you can include in your planner or just throw in your handbag. All you need is a sheet of clear acetate paper. I like to use Teresa Collins Studio acetate paper because it is really excellent quality and takes scoring really, really well. It also runs nicely through my sewing machine. So we're gonna start with a sheet that is 12 inches wide by nine inches tall. You can adjust this if you wanna make a smaller pouch, but for my example, I did nine by 12. So using a 12 inch scoreboard, I'm gonna make two simple score lines. My first score line is going to be at three inches. And I usually go back and forth two or three times on acetate paper just because it is thicker. And my second score line is going to be at seven and a half inches. So now that we've done our scoring, we're just gonna fold each one of these score lines to form the basis of the pouch. So the first score line is the larger of the two, and then we're gonna fold over the flap, essentially. And what I like to do is, after I've made the initial fold, is I take a really good quality bone folder and just burnish those fold marks so that you get a really crisp line and it allows your pouch to kind of lay more flat. To embellish the edge of the pouch, I chose a gold washi tape and a thinner black washi tape to layer on top for just some extra detail on the flap. If your acetate paper has a clear protective coating, you'll want to remove it now before you put your pouch together. So here I'm just finding the edge and I'm gonna peel it off. As an optional step, you can add washi tape to the flap of your pouch. I'm using a gold washi tape here by Teresa Collins. I really like it because the glitter does not flake off and it's kind of a soft and supple tape. So it, it really adheres well and um, can actually move with your paper. So for a flap that's getting a lot of use in and out, uh, I find it to be really durable. If you wanna add a little extra durability, you can put some glossy accents between the clear acetate paper and the washi tape and just be sure to use like a wet baby wipe if any oozes out from underneath because it will actually show on your clear acetate paper. So I just kind of keep one on the side there and wipe it off just to make sure that nothing has come out. You can also layer your washi tapes if you want to add a little bit more to the flap of your pouch. Here I layered in a very narrow black washi tape on top of the gold and it just adds a little bit more character I think to the pouch but totally optional. Now I'm gonna sew the left and right sides of my pouch just to close it together. And I'm gonna use a metallic thread here. You can use any regular thread. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can actually use like a thread and needle and do a blanket stitch along the outside. That would be really cute. But here I've chosen to widen my stitch to 3.0 just so that the stitches lay a little flatter on the acetate paper. So all you have to do is run a regular, simple, straight stitch across the pouch, making sure that you're knotting the thread at the beginning and the end.
I put a small white piece of paper inside my pouch just so that you could see it more easily since the pouch is clear. When you sew the sides of your pouch, you're just sewing that second flap from top to bottom. There's lots of different ways you can close your pouch. You can glue a magnet or some hook and loop tape, or you can add a little plastic snap like I've done in my example. I have this little tool that crimps together these little plastic pieces to, that form the snap. So here you can see the various pieces that come in the kit. I found it on Amazon relatively inexpensive. I wanna say it was like 15 or $16. I'll go ahead and add a link in the description of the video but very easy to put in. I just find the center of where I want to connect the top snap. And here you can see I'm marking it with my ruler and just making a place where it feels like a natural position for the snap to be. So I'm just gonna use a crocodile to punch a little hole. And from that hole, I'm able to take a Sharpie marker and mark the underside so that I know exactly where I need to line up the snap on the bottom. Since my crocodile won't fit this far down into the base of the pouch, I'm gonna use a pokey tool just to make a small hole on that little red dot that I made with my Sharpie marker. And I'm just moving it around a little bit just to increase the size so that I can insert the clip part of my snap. Now you just need to attach the snaps. So you have the peg part already inserted through the hole that you just punched in the lower part of your pouch. And you're just gonna take the cap and slide it on top of that pin. You'll almost feel it kind of connect to each other, but it has to be compressed in order to become permanent. So I'm using my crimping tool to actually connect the two together. It's a very gentle bit of pressure that you need to put to, on the tool to make it close. It was very easy and simple to do. So here on the bottom part of the pouch, my snap is complete. On the top part of the pouch, I'm gonna repeat that same process. I'm gonna use the peg or the pin and then the little cap and close them together. If you wanna add a little extra detail to your snap, you can cover it with washi tape or paint it or ink it. In my case, I decided to cut a corresponding piece of washi tape out of the gold onto the little pin part before I inserted it. And that was just so it made it easy for me to trim around the edge of the washi tape before I crimped it down. All you have to do now is put your hole punch along the left edge of your pouch so that you can use it with your planner. Go ahead and punch the configuration that matches the type of planner you have. One suggestion, if you want to use a disc planner like the Teresa Collins Happy Planner, I would suggest using a handheld single hole punch to go through the double thickness of clear acetate paper. Unfortunately, my pouch got stuck in my 365 punch and it didn't work out so well. I have a whole video on how to fix that punch as a result of this mistake. But I just went ahead and added another strip of washi tape to cover up the bad holes and now I can repunch it. I hope you like making this pouch. 
I had fun making them and I find that the opportunities are endless for creativity here. You can make them different sizes out of different papers. Anyway, hope you enjoy.